I had Bradley listen to the entire interview, uh, Dr. Phil interviewing Trump and being like, can you look out for this? Because this is a really weird thing that he said. I guess this was not in the free version of... Uh, of the interview and you might be Phil able to premium you got to go fill premium yeah on how are you not uh if yeah. you're not already subscribed you're not to phil? dr phil's premium <laughs> in one of the most incredible uh rhetorical things from this that the fact that dr phil's service uh uh the paywall service is called merit plus well i mean peter cow's <laughs> right. gonna have words about that or no it's Verit. Yeah. sorry never mind oh um, Verit plus not, not to be confused with Verit. Plus. either way Merit plus. it sounds like my doctor's like patient portal right it's like exactly it's like my chart <laughs> right like, i mean <laughs> people are getting people are getting duped thinking that dr phil is providing them with health care when they subscribe to Verit where's plus. my prescription Dr. i, I phil? thought i could find my vaccine <laughs> my blood, records my, my, blood, my blood results are back there dr phil's finally got them cool is dr phil an oprah guy uh yes. yeah so yeah. And dr oz Yep. Yeah. Glad to have her. Uh, welcome, billionaire. Speak at the DNC, please. Let's act like this is uh, just a, a, a normal person oh, yeah. that Oprah has uh, contributed to the world. Anything besides like free cars uh, to her audience. <laughs> yeah. Some of Oprah, some of the people that Oprah platformed to kind of give them their start, I believe, were Dr. Phil, Dr. Oz, and interestingly enough, before her political career, uh, Marianne Williamson as well. Ah, which was more, not which, was more, like a, which sure. was more of like a health guru, basically saying a uh, being, she, being yeah, fat she's, is immoral. She, She's kind of the Joe Rogan of her time. She had a Rogan sphere of her own, you know? I, I, I'll be honest. I'm not here for much about Marianne, except for her uh, For Freedom's FDR stuff, which yeah, is, I think, good. Good. Uh, the hell stuff, whatever. We'll, we'll take it. Um, so Dr. Phil, yes, was a, a first in the uh, Oprah Extended Universe, as was Dr. Oz. Both of them are... Dr. Phil seems to like want to run for office in California um, or something or, or somewhere else. I'm not exactly sure, but California is the subject of this conversation. Here's Trump uh, talking about how if he were able to accurately tabulate the the votes. And when I say he, I mean, capital H E um, capital H he. Uh, if he were able to tabulate the votes that Trump would win California. Let's hear his theory on this. I look at California. I, I gave a speech. I had so I had a crowd so big. I said, there's no way I could lose California. But automatically they mark it down. If you're a Republican as a loss <laughs> that you lose by five million votes. I said five million votes. I guarantee if Jesus came down and was the vote counter, I would win California. OK. In other words, if we had an honest vote counter, a really honest vote counter, I'd do great with the Hispanics, great. I mean, at a level that Relative no Republicans, Republicans ever done. But if we had an honest vote counter, I would win California. You think so? Oh, I think so. I do. I, I see it. I go around California. They have Trump signs all over the place. It's a what? very dishonest. Everything is mail-in. So, they send out 38 wait, million ballots. Everything's mail-in. Can you pause it? Trump just, okay, it's early voting, but Trump just had to vote early in Florida because before any of the restrictions about convicted felon come, come in, because his sentencing hasn't been handed down yet, right? So he was able to exploit that loophole. Like, this guy still has the they've also the, the campaign has been trying to get them to do mail in voting um, and, and they've been trying to encourage all the get out the vote efforts because they need every vote that they can. Usually it's Democrats that have to get out the vote because of our system of anti democracy where we have something called the electoral college uh we have a system of the senate where 40 million uh, republicans represent 40 million more people with 50 uh, senators versus democrat or, or sorry democrats represent 40 million more people with 50 senators than republicans with 50. um so i mean that's the kind of stuff but it, the truth is the electoral college does disenfranchise a large amount of republicans in blue states the, the state with the most amount of republicans of any state in the country is california but guess what it's outnumbered by way more democrat voters but if we didn't have an electoral college all those republicans in the center part of uh, california their vote wouldn't be thrown out so mr trump balls in your court call for an end to the electoral college let's move forward and let those people be uh come into democracy once again exactly. all those crazy psychos that vote republican in Flor in california yeah, we need direct democracy, popular vote. Is that what he's advocating for there? But first, we would have to have Jesus Christ himself come down and be the vote counter. Is that what we're going to have him do? Hey, Jesus, we've got a job for you. I think he... he Jesus, he, what? 
people said, Jesus, why are you spending your time like this? You got limited <laughs> time down here. This is what you choose to do. He's counting votes. We need Jesus to do a, a primitive, uh, I mean, it wouldn't be primitive at this point. We need him to de do, like, basically um, decommission all of Israel's offensive capabilities. Yeah. And then he can count the votes in California. <laughs> Je Jesus is like, I must be here to count votes in Humboldt County yes. in Northern California. And I will count them by hand, too. <laughs> right. Or he does have one of the systems, like, you know, in Bruce Almighty, where he had to respond to all the prayers and he was able to just do that yes. kind of down the line. Yeah. That's, he doesn't that's, know how to prioritize. Jesus, Jesus comes is a out. Prioritizer, yeah. He, he comes yeah. out like after three days, like, shit, I lost count, guys. I got to start over. It's going to be another two weeks. <laughs> Keep going. Everything is mail in. They send out 38 million ballots, I think it is around 36, 38 million ballots. They send them. I look at California. I, I gave us. Yeah. Yeah. You should be able to like send votes to people like yourself. Yeah. I right. mean, I would like to, you know, the one person I would like to see forced to go into a ballot box on election day is Donald Trump. But yeah, he doesn't. There's a reason you don't see footage of that. Now he goes to the battle box, baby. That's, right. That's where he's at. He wants to be with Biden in the battle box right now. That's really, he, that's where he is mentally. We're playing ballot battle box, folks. Is it funny how <laughs> both of them are probably going to be under the ground in like 10 years? <laughs> I, oh, yeah. I wish it could be a little bit sooner than that. I don't know about. Biden, I think, is almost a guarantee, but I, I, I fear Trump might become like, uh, you know, Richard Nixon brain in a jar, like Futurama uh, <laughs> type thing. Like, I, like, Trump might live to like 120. Oh, he might have the oh, Jerry yeah. Jones AI hologram yeah, situation. Yeah, just, just by virtue of just, I, he might, I just think he sometimes has that. He has a little bit of the weird, like, uh, like right wing psycho lives for, inexplicably lives to 104 for <laughs> yeah. some reason. And, and he's with Dr. Phil, too, who seems to be struggling, too. Dr. Phil seems like he's always on the verge of falling asleep. Yeah, Dr. Like in Phil's, every interview. Yeah, Dr. Phil's skin, I would describe it as the adjective I'd use is like embalmed. He looks very a little, embalmed. Yeah, he's <laughs> got a very embalmed look to him. Yeah, absolutely. He looks a little set up for like an open casket funeral. Yeah, his eyes. You know, you know everyone's dying today. <laughs> Go ahead, Matt. Sorry. Death. I mean, no, no. I'm saying he looks like a Madame Tussaud sort of wax. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he's very waxy. Yeah, totally. And they put that filter, that like daytime TV filter, on this mm -hmm. interview. The view, the view filter, where it's like, ooh. Ooh, it's kind of soft. Maybe they, this soft filter will make them look really cute or something. Yeah. But, I call that yeah. the Carrie Lake soft focus. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Got that Carrie Lake look going, yeah. Um, he wishes... What has your been? What has your take been, RM, uh, about Trump's kind of aura after uh, since Biden has dropped out and Harris has been the candidate? Because it's uh, kind of fun for me to witness. Yeah, he seems to be running out of steam. It definitely wasn't like the first time where it was like he was dunking on everybody and all getting all these funny clips and all that. He seems he seems a little checked out. He seems a little bit like it's not fun anymore or something. Yeah, I mean, it is his third go round, right? Yeah, yeah. He's oh, over Marissa it. Marissa doesn't like me anymore. <laughs> Hi, folks. Hey, you've heard me criticize how the mainstream media across the political spectrum either fails to report on important stories or prioritizes their own bias over balanced and comprehensive news coverage. Well, that's why I use Ground News as a solution on a daily basis. Longtime sponsors gather related news and add important context so you can understand how each outlet reports on it and maybe sometimes skews the facts this and being so close to the presidential election you're going to see rhetoric against uh, harris and tim walls is only going to intensify so i can't recommend enough that you check out ground news's election page my vantage plan gets me access to their election focused blind spot feed and diverse perspectives on each candidate so I can find the truth on who they really are, not just hear the loudest, most biased opinions and areas where, frankly, the left or the right is not covering. For each story you read on their platform, you're going to find article ground news found reporting on it, as well as tags to the next source indicating if they're independently owned or not how credible their reporting is, and if they have any political bias one way or another, making it really easy to critically analyze different perspectives and come to your own conclusions. Their mission aligns so much with what we try to do on this show. We try and make you more media literate. So I can't recommend enough going to ground.news slash majority 
or scanning my QR code to subscribe. Ground News is independent and subscriber supported. My viewers, however, will save 40% on the same vantage plan that I use for unlimited access to all their features on a daily basis. Hey folks, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out our daily show. We do it every day at 12 p.m. Eastern for about two and a half hours. We even take phone calls. You should check that out.